So Limited is here and back again and there is some pretty cool stipulations for it this weekend that just make it fun and I'm going to be telling you guys the best cards that you can go ahead and use over this weekend so if you are excited hit that like button down below and comment any cards that you are using or have used that could help anybody out that maybe I didn't shout out in this video. If you're new to the channel make sure you hit that subscribe button we are on that road to 15k subscribers and without further ado let's get it started with what the requirements are for this weekend. Call the ball week one. Our game conditions are we may use one ruby player or higher. We can use all the players that have to be sapphire or lower and no free agent cards are allowed. And these rings will be getting a pink diamond Devin Booker. It was actually a pretty good card. Um, no defense as you would expect with a Booker, but the offense is pretty crazy. Now, um, you can see... Uh, this is maybe why you would want to get your rings unlimited. Each win in My Team Limited gives you a chance at the championship ring. You can only earn one championship ring each week. At the end of the season, you earn a prize based on how many rings you've collected. Collect every ring to earn the season's grand prize. So if you want to just get one and get that deluxe pack, there's that, or two for the 25 tokens. I think most people either are going to go with five or six, but that's on you. So basically... When it comes to limited, this is a lineup that I'm probably going to end up running um, for mine. Patty Mills, Cade Cunningham, Jason Tatum, Kevin Durant, Nikola Jokic, Trey Young, Anthony Edwards, Andre Roberson, Michael Porter Jr., and Kareem Abdul-Jabbar. All cards that I really like. And the first thing that you're going to have to do when you're picking your lineup for this weekend is pick that one card that you're going to make your staple for the team. Uh, mine right now is Jason Tatum. I know it doesn't show like I actually score a lot with him, but trust me, this dude is absolutely amazing. And I would recommend for a lot of you guys, unless you've pulled packs, you get a really good amethyst or something like that, that most likely you should use that ruby or higher card as the Evo that you've got, you know, from it. Now I could make a change like bring in Jermaine Jones and then run in the um, amethyst, uh, whoever it is, Vlade Divac that I have, um, you know, somewhere in the card rating um but i don't have him out right now because he's being sent there so you can just do stuff like this and i think it'll all work out for the best for everybody but this is probably a lineup you're going to be going with and then once you're going to pick that one card i think then you're just going to have to kind of merge guys that are going to be great around it but if you are somebody who maybe doesn't want to use the card that you evoed up because you just i don't know don't like it for whatever reason i do have some shout outs i think it'd be pretty fun that you could go ahead and have yeah, you know, I guess a good time with and most of these are going to be up in the auction house You can just go and search by you know Ruby and Amethyst and pick some really good cards like Damian Lillard Who's just an absolute beast and Manoj Dombali is great I've used his Pascal Siakam still have him on my team and I absolutely love him This Lamelo ball is an absolute demon dude just does not miss uh, It has a great jumper and offensively, it's just an absolutely amazing card. There also is a base set, Victor, Ruby Victor Oladipo, who's really good. I know World Be Free is actually amazing as well. Like, there's a lot of pretty good, you know, cards out there. And obviously, if you have the ability to do so, picking up like Darren Williams or Shaquille O'Neal, it's obviously going to be good for you. And even, you know, stacking some Amethyst like Paul Westfall, Kemba Walker, who are both absolutely amazing cards. And even Zebo can actually be a really good time for you. But I would recommend just picking one that you know you can get some off wins with and just have a good time in general, even like Amethyst Ray Allen. And then it comes to the question of who we're going to pick up for those Sapphire or lower rated cards. One demon that I have to tell you guys to pick up every single time is going to be this Cade Cunningham. This dude is an absolute beast. He's six foot eight. Has good defense and his offense is just absolutely amazing. I have made it a killing with this kid Cunningham on both current and next gen. Like this guy is just amazing. His jumper is a little bit on the medium speed side, but you can definitely get it down. Uh, if you know what you're doing with defense because of how tall he is, you can definitely make a really good time at that two guard position. And he's just all around really fun. Um, Anthony Edwards from the Colossal set is also a really good one to use. Um, really good as a slasher if that's what you're into while still being able to kind of hit the three ball which is always really fun. And another one from the Colossal set that I absolutely love um, and I really, really recommend using. You can check out my Drafter Stash video if you haven't seen it. Uh, is this Jalen Green has an absolutely money jump shot 22 jumper. Basically like a better version of Jimmy Butler. Has that 80 shot 3. He can dunk like crazy and still has okay defense. Um, and it's actually just a really fun all-around card to use. So that Jalen Green, highly recommend. Other guys are the token market cards you can actually pick up. My favorite of which is patty mills this dude is an absolute threat on the offensive end he has base 98 on quick 
and literally does not miss with that uh, insane 88 three-point shot. Um, and he has really good playmaking as well. I think a bronze quick first step. Um, you can see I've been playing Domination, and I'm averaging 21 a game with this Patty Mills. He's just that dude. Like, seriously, doesn't miss. Um, and if you've been a fan of Base 98 in the past, it feels the same. The timing is the same, um, and it's really been fun using this Patty Mills. And people are not going to be ready for somebody already running a super quick jumper like Base 98 out there. So it's going to be pretty fun. Um, another thing that you can do is if you have Trey Young and have it fully Evo when I'm up, leave him at that Sapphire. Don't go for the Evo. And then boom, you have a 6 foot one PG that is literally going to knock down every damn three that you have with one of the fastest releases in the game. It's going to be an amazing playmaker and is lightning quick as well. Um, so if you do have Trey Young, I would recommend leaving him as that Sapphire. That way you can have another Ruby and still have that good high quality um, you know, Trey Young. Along with you know Nikola Jokic, you guys like those are both going to be really good at Sapphire. You know, just to have on the squad. Also, your pre-order cards like Kevin Durant. This dude is just, I mean, it's KD. He's six foot ten as a power forward. KD the three and just space the floor really well for you. It's just going to be a good time. And same thing goes for Michael Porter Jr. Just a really good guy who is tall, can play some good defense, but the offense is really where he shines. I mean, 85 shot three and an 80 driving dunk for MPJ. That's just always going to be a good time. Um, to have some fun out there and the last sleeper that I do want to talk about in my lineup is going to be this Andre Roberson who I know literally cannot score at all on offense I mean he has a D plus inside D minus midi and D for three-point scoring but when it comes to defense he's the one of the only cards with silver clamps in the entire game and I think you can actually move that up a little bit higher uh, which is obviously going to be a good time like I actually look up on 2kdb right now you can hear the clicking around uh, when it comes to bron cl bronze clamps, there's a few cards with it. When it comes to silver clamps, there's only four cards in the entire game, and there's nobody with Hall of Fame or gold clamps. So right now, this Andre Roberson is actually the best defender in the game. So um, I have him on there literally just to play defense, and that is it. Um, and I recommend you do that too, just because if somebody's really starting to cook you with a card, throw this Andre Roberson on them, and I promise you, they're not really going to be storing again. Um, other cards you can pick up, you know, from the token market if you just have some that I think are really good are from my best emeralds video that's probably going to be out a little bit before this. Actually, I'll put it out after this. Um, some of these guys are going to be great, like John Barry has a wonderful jumper and jump shot 33, and it's just an absolutely knockdown shooter, which I love. Nice and quick and a really good playmaker as well. Um, Roger Mason has jump shot 4 on quick and is a very, very good card at 6'5", and it's just an absolute demon, and I just love using him. And then for our Sapphire, we have Jermaine Jones, who's just that perfect kind of jack of all trades, kind of, you know, power forward, small forward. He has a B plus in that playmaking, B for the three point, A minus perimeter, A post, A minus rebounding, just an all around really good card. And Seth Curry, who you know you're going to get out of, I mean, it's another, you know, 88 shot three, 87 midi point guard that you can run out there and just start chucking threes with. Um, not too many people that are very good at defense right now. Um, so if you really are and good at timing your releases you can make a killing with some of these pgs um and curry's definitely one of that and then kelly Ubre as well just being one of those jack of all trades small forwards i mean six foot seven and being able to do everything he can like 82 shot three 82 driving dunk good playmaking good defense good speed i mean it doesn't get better than that uh, another pretty good and pretty fun card and that's not to say these are the only options uh, for you to go out and have some fun with um you can pick up some free cards just from grinding like this miles of bridges domination reward is a demon this dude gets to the basket and dunks everybody and he has a pretty capable shot which is awesome uh pascal siakam i've used for a while and i absolutely love this card he's just an all-around great guy to run at that center position uh, because he can shoot he can play make and he can play defense and i've just had a really fun time with it um, I also have had fun with Zion Williamson, and this Chris Boucher is probably one of the most slept on cards I've had. Um, lightning quick release, six foot nine, just as good a defense as Pascal Siakam, a slightly better shot, just I think actually better dunking and better defense. Just a super fun card. Not the fastest, but still really great, and he's a free domination reward that you can get with pretty little effort, and can come out there at that Sapphire and really have a, a good time. And if you've pulled any of the base set cards, make sure you go through and check any ones that you found. This Paul Pressey is one that I ended up getting for free from my pre-order packs. And he is the definition of a three or a defensive god. 88 still an 89 perimeter and is super fun. And I highly recommend him. He's got a great jumper in the corner. It's been absolutely money. And that defense really holds it down. So make sure if you open up your pre-order packs to go through and, you know, pick out anybody that you got. I didn't really get too many cards that were good. Uh, but make sure if you do have them, go through and uh, pick a few of them out and then kind of make a good squad. Um, I think right now, everybody's kind of very offensive focused. So if you can have some good defenders, it definitely helps out. But it's really nothing too crazy uh, at this point. So 
I really would just make sure you are comfortable with offense because I think defense is pretty easy to play this year. So make sure you have a lot of offensive firepower that you are ready to use and are just going out and having some fun with it. Um, as far as freelance and stuff like that, I can't really help you guys actually play in game because it's still new and we're still figuring out what the meta is going to be. But these are some cards to get you started and an example lineup that I'm using right here uh, that has really worked for me and has been super, super fun to go out and uh, just have some fun with. Now, limited is glitched right now, so you can't actually get the rewards, but I wanted to get this video out so whenever it does get fixed, you can actually make a lineup and have some fun with it. So, if you did enjoy this video, hit that like button down below. Again, comment any cards that I dick didn't talk about um, that maybe you're using or you know other people that use that are just absolutely amazing. Hit that subscribe button if you do the channel. On that rate of 15k subscribers. Hope you have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you in the next video.